try to cut the theory because I think it's all a bit of a repetition and a straight jump into the cases. I mean, just an outset, we started a PERT program at Apollo Jubilee Hills around six months ago and uh, the enrollment has been slow but uh, steady. We'll just go through a few examples of uh, what we've done. So this was the case which actually prompted the formation of the PERT team. It was a 75-year-old lady who's uh, recently undergone a hip replacement and she presented uh, roughly 10 days after the procedure with a syncope to the emergency with hypotension, tachycardia and hypoxia. So basically it was fairly clear-cut uh, case of pulmonary embolism. She had a submassive uh, PE, the PACI score was 220 mainly because of her uh, high age and she had a surgery only 10 days ago in view of which she was deemed extremely high risk for bleeding as well. So the options at that time was systemic or a catheter guided thrombolysis. The orthopedic surgeon who reviewed her said uh, cleared for uh, thrombolysis if, uh, surge, if a cardiologist says so and the cardiologist said cleared for thrombolysis if the orthopedic surgeon says so. So the patient was essentially stuck in the ICU for a day without getting any therapy. So this is the CT uh, as you can see significantly dilated uh, right ventricle compared to the left ventricle. And uh, you could see a saddle embolism in the main pulmonary artery extending bilaterally. And uh, so essentially, uh, essentially, as you can see the echo, there is a significantly dilated right ventricle compared to the left and a D-shaped septum and dysfunctional right ventricle with a TAPSI of only 14 millimeters. So we, did a, we decided to cut down the risk of bleeding. We would do a catheter guided uh, thrombolysis. As you can see, a selective uh, pulmonary angiogram shows a filling defect in the right middle lobe as well as the left lower lobe uh, predominantly. So we placed a, a regular pigtail, six French pigtail uh, catheter given 5 mg bolus of tenectiflis and followed it up with 1 mg per hour infusion for the next 18 hours. Following which there was a significant clinical improvement. As you can see the comparative echo before and after the procedure. Uh, the panel on the left shows a dilated uh, right ventricle which significantly uh, reduced within 24 hours uh, of therapy and uh, that was also followed up by an improvement in the TAPSI, the right ventricular function and also the uh, essentially the TR uh, gradient had reduced from 25 to uh, 12. Uh, going to the next case, a uh, young gentleman with no risk factors came to us with two days history of uh, sudden dyspnea. He had hypotension and tachycardia at presentation and the saturation was 90 at room air. Uh, at the admission, is, uh, CT pulmonary angiogram shows a significantly dilated right ventricle and thrombus was mainly uh, pertaining to the right pulmonary artery which was occluded and the left uh, distal pulmonary artery had a thrombus as well. And he had an obvious McConnell sign, uh, as you can see the panel on the left side, uh, free wall uh, hypokinesia with apical sparing and there was a probable thrombus in, uh, notice in the pulmonary artery as well. So with RV dysfunction, so this guy uh, basically had a high risk uh, pulmonary embolism with RV dysfunction. He had no contraindication for thrombolysis, so we just gave a bolus tenecteplase uh, for this patient following which there was a significant uh, clinical improvement. So again, a comparative echo. Normally, uh, if you can see, this echo was done at 3 a.m. and following which uh, this echo was done exactly 20 hours later, you could see the significant reduction in the size of the right ventricle after thrombolysis. So this gentleman was discharged on uh, Eliquis after two days of Clexane and he's doing well after six months of follow-up. And uh, this is another uh, interesting case, a lady who recently uh, was diagnosed to have uh, CA cervix, had been on chemo and radiation uh, following seven days after the last chemo dose, she came to us with one day history of dyspnea and chest discomfort. At arrival, she was hypotensive, tachycardic, hypoxic, troponin was 2300 uh, and platelets were only 39,000 at which uh, giving uh, heparin was uh, fairly risky. So her PACI score was 192 and she had an overt contraindication for uh, thrombolysis and anticoagulation. So interestingly, this lady had come at the time when Penumbra was going through a, a distributor change in our center. So the Penumbra catheters were not even available at that time. So after doing a, a pulmonary angiogram with a pigtail catheter, as you can see significant filling defects in uh, both upper lobes. Uh, we basically just parked a routine 8 French catheter and took an end hole uh, catheter multipurpose followed by JR and connected to uh, a penumbra suction catheter system and then a penumbra mechanical thrombectomy. So how is this different is essentially this graphic just shows a sustained uh, negative pressure that is emitted by the suction uh, which helps in aspiration of blood. 
This is another recent uh, mechanical thrombectomy. If you can see the extent of thrombus that was actually removed uh, using a eight, CAT8 uh, penumbra system. So this uh, previous patient uh, subsequently after 48 hours, she was off inotropes and CPAP and had uh, stable renal parameters. Uh, her platelets were maintained above 50,000 and she was uh, given anoxaparin. Uh, and no catheter guided lysis were done uh, in view of low platelets and IVC filter was planned if the platelets would drop further. Subsequently, the patient improved and uh, we could actually discharge her on uh, half dose of epixaban after a week. So in conclusion, essentially there are different type, varied presentation and varied treatment options. I think team-based approach is uh, what makes a difference and catheter-based interventions need to be considered in the form of mechanical thrombectomy or catheter guided lysis. I think I would just close with this uh, very interesting slide where basically decision is more important than incision. I think P is one such case where it fulfills.